Hey guys, uh, some pretty exciting news. I'm actually speaking at my very first conference. I went to DevFest Florida last year uh, in the Orlando area, and it was a lot of fun. Me and my buddy went, and we really enjoyed it. And I think I even did a video talking about it and what I liked, what I didn't like, all that sort of stuff. I might have to pull that up again, throw it in the, the description. But I'm speaking at it. I, I went to it, and I said, I think I can do this. Put me in, coach. And they, you know. For better or for worse, they decided to. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk a little bit about what to expect and uh, a little bit about the event in general so you can decide if you want to go. I hope you do go. Last time I was there, I met a couple of people, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's always pretty awkward when you have another uh, guy saying, hey, man, can I take a picture with you? But we took pictures, and it's it's all right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the joke I always make with it, yeah, it's never a cute girl, and um, it 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 never is. April doesn't like that joke. Anyhow, um, let's talk about the conference I'm going to be speaking at. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. You can find out more information about them at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a coding bootcamp that is either full-stack web development or IS development, UI, UX, quality assurance, might check out Dev Mountain. One of the cool things about their programs, they, they include housing with their tuition, so you can get up and go and really feel like you're living amongst other devs, and which I think is a very valuable thing. But find out more information about them and if it's right for you at devmountain.com. So DevFest Florida, one of the cool things about it is sometimes you hear about these super giant conferences and they're so unobtainable even if you make good money and you're like dude i can't spend two three thousand dollars on a conference def or take you know a couple days off work this is a one day conference that's on a saturday so you know pretty much best case scenario and and it's very affordable right so if you're a student you can go as for as little as 20 and if you um you know buy tickets in the next week or two you can go for 50 bucks right so um and I think this is even down last year. I think they're doing a slightly smaller conference than they did the year before. So um, last year it was at a um, last year it was at like a Disneyland resort thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, it's it's pretty affordable, which is nice, right? So like that's part of the reason I went last. Sort of funny side note about this conference is um, my. I guess two previous workplaces ago, DevFest Florida essentially made me quit my two previous jobs in a sense. Uh, I wouldn't say made me, but uh, it was the thing that pushed me over the edge when my work who had been working us to the bone wouldn't pay the like 70 bucks to go to the conference. I filled out a couple job apps, got a job a month later because I was so salty about it. Uh, that's a true story. I'm not making that up. Uh, but you can see that there's going to be quite a few speakers. I think in total there's 20, somewhere between 20 and 30 speakers. Um, so over here, over 30 speakers. And one of the cool things about it also is that it there's three different tracks and what i mean by that is that depending on what you're interested in you, there's going to be different talks that sort of overlap which kind of is unfortunate but kind of at the same time you get introduced to you can kind of sort of pick and choose you gotta you gotta look at the the you know me and my buddy when we, we went he was like what about this one well, what about this one you started doing this like monopoly negotiation about where you're gonna go but Typically, the, the three tracks are mobile, web, and cloud. So I'm obviously going to fall into the web category. And you can see some of the uh, talkers here. Um, there's your boy. <laughs> there's your boy. Um, they did spell this out wrong. Uh, but we'll, we'll cut them some slack because that's how I spelt it when I first started working at PwC. Um, but, yeah, so quite a few. You have some people from Google, from the Android team. Um, you know, uh, various various organizations. Last year, uh, John Papa was there, which he did an excellent talk on uh, DevFest uh, Florida. So, what am I going to be talking about? Do they put it on here? Uh, no, they don't. I think in the blog they might talk about it. Here, the web stage. Yeah, this is where your boy's fallen into. So, uh, I didn't do a very good description. I was like, when I was filling out the survey, <laughs> I was like, uh. Is this just so you can evaluate my talk? If I knew they were going to put this in a blog, I would have written something a little bit better. Um, but I, I'll be talking about the clean clean TypeScript and testing. So really what my talk's going to be about is it's going to be about how to utilize TypeScript to its fullest and write, um, I mean, I guess I did, I gave a very succinct answer. It will allow you to utilize TypeScript to be a more testable, maintainable, and, re, and readable code base. And 
this is really important to me because I think this is what makes your job, um, it's one of the things that can make your job easier and make you like your job is having a nice code base. And so we're going to be um, talking about quite a few things from utilizing partials to abstract classes to even setting up some settings in VS Code to make your life easier um, with TypeScript and formatting and things like that um, just because I... I love that stuff, and uh, at the end of the talk, um, you know, it's about an hour long, and uh, I think they said 50 minutes with questions, so a little less than an hour. Um, by the end of the talk, hopefully you'll have learned something, hopefully you'll have laughed, and hopefully um, you will uh, remember something, really, and tell something to somebody else, right? Um, that's really what the goal of my... I guess my YouTube channel and sort of my career at the end of the day is you enjoy yourself because it's all about keeping it fun and fresh. So we're gonna we're gonna have some we're gonna have some spicy content as spicy as you can make clean TypeScript uh, and testing. And um, these are the things I care about as a developer and really I think has helped me grow as a developer as well. Right. So people are like, how have you gone from a pizza delivery driver? That was doing code academy tutorials to you know a clear you know uh healthy above if you add everything together somewhere between 150 and plus and how, how did you do that when in 2014 and you were making five six thousand dollars a year well the, the truth of the matter is just by pushing forward every single day but a ma uh, a major part of that is utilizing principles writing cleaner code and testing learning the solid principles these are things that um, we can't dive into the solid principles in about an hour I mean it could it just wouldn't be very good but clean code clean TypeScript specifically and testing two things that I really really love and I you know they bring me onto teams a lot of times to help educate other people and, and do it so I wanted to jump into something I know well enough and that I uh, I'm passionate about so it'll be kind of fun um, but I hope you guys decide to come uh, you can see that there's you know you have a bunch of people from big companies Microsoft Google Citibank a lot of Google people man um, realtruck.com um, so not only will I be there but uh, I'll actually be <laughs> go so I'm probably doing one talk I would imagine um, I'll be uh, I'll be going to some of these other ones as well. So, like, I'm big on PWAs. So, like, this is something that I... So, one one thing that I, I sort of didn't like about one or two of the talks that I'm going to try and focus on my talk uh, not having, and, and this is something that I think this... Like, I think this is going to be a very good talk, but I, I'm familiar with PWAs. Uh, but uh, one thing that I, I'm going to try to make sure is that you, there, there was one or two talks I went to where it was like, I didn't learn shit. Uh, <laughs> it was cool and it was fun, but I didn't learn anything. I'm going to try to make sure that we go deep enough in the 50 minutes that, yeah, we're going to cover some low level stuff or some high level stuff, but we're going to cover some low level stuff as well. Cause I, I want to um, get a little deep into some of these concepts and some of these topics so that you know, for the most part, I'd like to think that 95% of the people there um, are going to take away just maybe one little nugget. That's it. Because if we can get our one little nugget a day, you can have a pot of gold in a year. You know what I mean? And that's sort of the mentality I've taken with my career. It's just, a, you know, one little nugget a day, one step forward. And uh, I'm hoping to, to do that with my clean TypeScript and testing conference talk. But with all that being said, um, I'm very excited about it. I, uh, I, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Two of my buddies are going with me, <coughs> so uh, hopefully they decide to watch my talk, or I'm going to shame them. Uh, I might shame them on stage if they don't show up, because uh, we're carpooling. Don't let me down, boys. Uh, <laughs> but uh, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below. I hope to see you at DevFS Florida. And you can go to uh, DevFSFlorida.org to find out more about who's speaking, you know, who's setting up the organization. Um, I'll also be, coincidentally, on the... Um, God, what was that podcast called? Um, oh, my goodness. Let me look in my own... But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be uh, taking a moment in the day to be on a podcast that's going to be there. That is the, give me one second, it's coming to me, looking through my thundernerds.io podcast. So 
if you guys have watched them, they inter they're going to be interviewing all the speakers for about 30 minutes at a time. So I'll be doing that while I'm there, and uh, you guys can uh, check me out there as well. But yeah, so um, check out the the conference. It's a it's a small conference, not too many. There's going to be about uh, um, there's going to be about 30 30 uh, uh, talks and somewhere between uh, two to 300 people is what I think was last year, and so. Um, it's a one day thing. It lasts pretty much all day. They'll, they should be posting the schedule in the next few days so you can see when and what and sort of plan it out. Um, but it was a lot of fun. You get a free t-shirt. Um, I wear my t-shirt all the time, but, uh, check it out. I'll include some links in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell or smash that like button while you're at it. And if you're interested, I just released my latest course, the 100 Front End Technical Question Challenge, which is there to help you pass those front end technical interviews. There's over 100 questions. You can get it for just $9.99. The link is in the description below or use coupon code CODINGGOD.